What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I got a special guest. This is John Shanahan. You might know him as The Cavalier on YouTube. And today we're gonna talk all about skincare. Oh, yeah. So uh, John, why don't you introduce yourself to the people watching this channel and just give a little background. Hey guys, I run the YouTube channel. It's all about clothing, style, fashion, and then grooming is in there as well. It's very important to get all those things locked in. Travis can give you a lot of great inspiration over Instagram. I usually cover like in-depth brands. Like if you want this look, here's the brands you can really focus on. And skincare is a big part of that too because you want to put your best self forward. It's how you look, but it's also how you feel and that can relate to how your skin looks that day. And as Trav yeah. knows, very important. Cause you, you mentioned like you talk all about brands. You do honest reviews, like people go to your channel if they wanna know the best white sneakers, the best Chelsea boots, the best shirt brands. And when it comes to skincare, especially men's skincare, I feel like every single day there's like a new men's skincare brand out. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to know like what to trust and like how do we know what's good for our specific skin? If you could give your two cents on like maybe looking at specific ingredients or things that are left out of formulas or added into formulas, what would mm -hmm. you say? Well, I'd say too, I, I am co-founder of Strix, which is a corrective cosmetics company. So that is like my experience in the formulations of things. Mm -hmm. And it is all about getting what is good for your skin. So like I've been playing with Curology, which is a custom formulated, like you send them pictures, you say, my skin's oily, it's not oily, and they formulate it for you. Mm -hmm. I found that that's a really interesting approach where you know, every guy has a different level of skin oiliness or you know they might be more sensitive to certain ingredients, but you don't really know that without experimenting. Mm -hmm. Some of these companies will say like, look, you get 30 days to try it out with anything you're buying online that is the most important. Is the returns process really easy? Are they gonna let you like try this out and get in there? And on the women's side, there are so many companies that, that cater specifically to, they'll say, this is good for if your skin is oily, this is good for if your skin is dry. And the men's space I think is now, because we have so many brands, whether it's Brickles, Jack Black and Kiehl's, they're saying, okay, like guys are interested in getting this a little bit closer. So it's not a, it's not a one size fits all you approach? All. No, there are things to keep out for, like you do, you do want to avoid parabens. Parabens is a, a known carcinogenic, which mm -hmm. is a synthetic ingredient which then keeps formulations good for longer. Okay. Which is one of the things, it's like, it's a benefit, but there's so many skincare brands you'll come across that are cruelty free, paraben free, mm -hmm. uh, alcohol free, alcohol dries the skin out. And there are applications for it, but you don't want that in your face wash. You yeah. don't want your face wash to dry your skin out. So if a company puts paraben in it, are they basically just cutting corners to get their product to last longer on the shelf? Yes, that and it also helps to like water down the formulation a little bit. If it doesn't say you know, no parabens or no parabens added, then that's where the, the red flag comes up. But I think it's important as we were talking about each skin, like one of my favorite moisturizers, an all-in-one moisturizer with SPF 30 is mm -hmm. Matt for Men, but like that makes you break out. And so right. like, I know enough guys where that's one of their favorite moisturizers, but then there's something in there that's clearly triggering it with you. And so it is about that experimentation phase. And when we were talking about what to look for, in things maybe to avoid. The one thing that is like very well known is to have some sort of SPF moisturizer yeah. on your face every day in the morning. You do mm -hmm. not want SPF at night because it'll end up clogging your pores. Right. So you want to have SPF in the morning, you know, wash your face, put SPF, some kind of SPF moisturizer on, and then at night you want to wash that off to kind of reset your skin overnight so it can heal. I think that's a great segue into actually talking about some skin skincare mistakes that guys make. Obviously SPF is a big one. That's actually the reason I started even caring about skincare was because I started noticing a lot of sunspots that were popping up either on my arms, my shoulders, and my face. And I also started noticing that I'm 29 right now and I was starting to get a little more like dark circles and wrinkles. As I was reading a lot of the research, I came across uh, interesting study that men actually get skin cancer at a higher rate than women do and I had always believed the reverse So that was sort of a misconception that I had that changed my mind and I really started taking skincare seriously So the first one I would say a mistake that men make would be failing to use some sort of SPF daily on their face Yeah, and even earlier than that. It's not taking skincare serious early enough okay. Like when you're in high school and you're in middle school, it's kind of at least for me It was always a weird thing that I wanted to fix my hair or like clean my face. And I think that's one of the biggest things we can do as guys that are now through this is to make that a normal thing. Like wash your face in the morning. It's okay to put moisturizer on. It's okay to put SPF and care about your skin, but also to have some kind of routine. Figure out the products you like. And that one's tough because there are a lot of drugstore products that'll say like hair and body and face. Right, yeah. Don't do that. 
So like, don't use bar of soap on your face. Bar of soap <laughs> is bad. Bar of soap has really high pH levels, which okay. will then end up stripping the natural oils of your skin and then drying your face out. Could you, I know this is a really quick uh, branch, but could you explain the difference between face skin and like body skin? Is there like a big difference between the two? Yeah, your, fa your, your face has natural oils that will keep your face healthy and like regenerate in a, in a different rate than your body. So like when we were talking about earlier, with, when guys will put moisturizer on their face, mm -hmm. your hands are way more absorbent for oils and for any type of cream or, or liquids than your face. Mm -hmm. And so if a guy, rubs his whole hand with moisturizer puts on his face that's that's one of the ways you're going to run out faster because your hands are going to absorb it yeah. rather than your face and your face is a lot more sensitive too and your skin even changes over time because guys skin will sag and and change as you're in your 30s 40s and 50s versus yeah. when you're a teenager which is why teenagers tend to have more acne than than guys that are older gotcha so that i would say that would be so mistake number one would be not caring about your skin care routine or not starting early enough. Mistake number two would be failing to have a daily SPF, whether that be in your moisturizer or something separate that you put on your face. And then the third one, which I see a lot of guys, and I used to do this all the time, was you know a cleanser or a moisturizer and you would squeeze it on your hand, you'd rub your hands together and then you'd moisturize your face. And the reality is half of it just got wasted on your hands. Like your hands absorbed all of that. And so what I like to do is take a, just like a dime size amount and put it right here on the four of my hand. And then I just dab it all over and it, it covers my entire face. It makes my moisturizer last twice as long because these skincare brands, like they're ambitious with their prices. Like they tend to be very proud of their products and buying a skincare set, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. So if you can double the length of your moisturizer or your your cleanser then you're saving a lot of money mm -hmm. uh, in the long term what would you say would be like a fourth mistake that guys make this is one that i've only learned recently is when you're washing your face having too hot of water directly in your face mm. in the shower don't go directly for it it's better to get in your hands and kind of wash because mm. the hotter the water it is the faster your skin will dry out and especially if you don't have that routine it, to replenish it that'll dry out even faster and is that because when you put hot water on your face, your pores tend to open up more and it and it just, all the oils escape yeah. faster. Is that what's causing that? Yeah. Okay. That and putting shampoo in, on your face. Shampoo yeah. is very harsh. And like we were talking to uh, Eric from Beer Brand, it has mm -hmm. silicones in it. It has a lot of products that are meant to reform your hair. And I used to do this too. I would just put shampoo on my face and call it a day. But yeah. that's another one, just like bar soap, it'll dry out really fast. <laughs> I remember when I was, I grew up with my brother. I remember he would never like, wash his face and I'd always ask him, I was like, hey, like, did you wash your face? And he's like, oh, it's cool. My shampoo ran down over yeah. my face as it was rinsing out of my hair, so my face is clean. And I always thought, I was like, oh, that's efficient. Like, that's, that's like not way. cleaning your feet in the shower. <laughs> clean your feet in the shower. It, it, yeah. <laughs> clean your whole body in the shower. Just because water with soap runs down any part of your body, it doesn't mean it's clean. Gotcha, all right. There's another tip for you. Yeah, so avoid the, the three-in-ones, the hair, face, body washes. Avoid the bars of soap on your face. Yeah, so let's make it like an even five. Let's just round it off. We already got four really great ones. I think a fifth one that every single guy can get behind is having a diet that promotes healthy skin. And I guess the obvious question would be where to even start with that? Like what's a good diet that would promote healthy collagen production and bright skin and youthful skin. Well, that first one about finding out what products work for your skin is also what affects your skin when you eat it. For me, like sugar is the worst. If I eat, like I know that if I eat a certain amount of cookies or anything with a lot of sugar in it, my face will break out. Mm -hmm. Or uh, alcohol, I've known most of the guys in my life, like if they drink a lot of alcohol, you end up breaking out. But because it's this cycle where it's just happening and then you drink more, like if once you figure out that you cut things out, your skin is better, that's huge. And uh, and water, just, just drinking water. You need yeah. to get enough like fluids in your body that your skin can regenerate on its own. Because the human body is amazing. Like these yeah. products definitely help, but the human body is also amazing if you take care of it right. Uh, are there any like so we we have alcohol we have sugary foods and water those two sugar and alcohol things to avoid water something definitely to add in uh, and if you think it's too much water keep drinking more it's probably what I would say mm -hmm. on that what about foods like to eat to promote maybe brighter skin I've heard celery is that uh, is there true any any of the greens that are full of 
uh, vitamins. It's mm -hmm. like super the super foods you talk about, whether it's avocado or kale, like anything that will help you produce more vitamins that can then go into your skin, that'll definitely help. You mentioned that you were uh, you work for Strix, which you used very specific words earlier. You said it was a cosmetic correction. Corrective cosmetic. Corrective yeah. cosmetic. One bonus, here wait, one bonus tip. Okay. Squeeze the blackheads out of your nose, guys. That's probably oh, okay. my biggest pet peeve. Are you seeing a lot of blackheads? No, you're really clean. <laughs> okay. it's, it's one of the first things, once you notice it in guys, in everybody, you start to look at their nose and you're like, this dude doesn't clean his face. Look at the blackheads on his face. So that's my bonus one. One thing that actually, so when I was using all the keels, I still would notice that I had blackheads. And then the moment I switched over, I was using this, uh, it was like a vegan, paraben, paraben free, sulfate free. It, it was it was like a cruelty free. It's called Disco from Austin. They have this really awesome charcoal mask, and it was combined with charcoal, like eucalyptus oil. And I would put it, the mask on and leave it for 20 minutes. And then when I would take it off, I noticed that all of the blackheads mm -hmm. were like coming to the surface and being like sucked out of my forehead. And my it was like the craziest thing. So I would say like charcoal, anything like facial cleanser or mask with charcoal in it would at least work well for me. Yeah. I think that's a great. Real thing guys, to try. real guys wear face masks. That's what we. Oh yeah, that's what we have to promote. I put it all over my social media. <laughs> too. Well, yeah. So with Strix Corrective Cosmetics, so the two products we have now is a concealer tool and mm -hmm. a tinted moisturizer. So the concealer tool is really for like when you wake up with any sort of like pimple, blemish, dark under eye bags. It's to cover it up. It doesn't. The concealer tool is meant to conceal, not heal necessarily. The tinted moisturizer can do both. So the tinted moisturizer has salicylic acid, which is the active ingredient in a lot of acne fighting cleansers and moisturizers, but it also has pigment to it. So it'll like even out the skin. Okay. And so it'll help to hide redness, razor burn, that type of thing. So I end up using that like down here, I've tried every shave gel, every razor, I always get razor burn. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy. I just dab some concealer on there and then it takes away the redness. And like for me, it, it, for everybody we've talked to, it's like a confidence booster. It's like if your yeah. skin looks good, you feel good, you perform better. And it's that's why we dress, you know, that's why we care about why we dress and how we look. I can just imagine a lot of people having thoughts in their minds of thinking like makeup for men, like I would never wear that. Why? Like so like, is there like a myth or a misconception that you can squash? You're not going to be using all these like blender tools and like dabbing your face. You're not going to be, you know, adding like a lot of foundation and then putting like layers of makeup on. How would you simplify it and like fix any misconceptions? Yeah, like, have well, we took that into account for our stuff. All the formulations are done for men's skin, which is mm -hmm. thicker, oilier, and rougher than women's skin. And it's made so that you can literally just take the concealer tool out, dab it on your face, use your finger, blend it in, and you're done. So we don't want, we assume that guys don't have a routine, which is the case for most guys. And so we just want something you can tap on and apply really quickly. Same thing with a moisturizer, like you can put it on your face and then you're good to go. And so that that is one difference for, you know, men can use women's cosmetic products. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys aren't comfortable buying it, carrying it. So we wanted to have something that guys could be comfortable with. So in terms of like packaging, if a guy's carrying around the concealer, like the pen tool that you mentioned, if he like pulls out his pocket, it, it, is it gonna look like, you know, the makeup you buy from, you know, Lush or like Sephora, or is it like, what do you think this is? Yeah, this makeup. looks more like a vape pen. Yeah. I, don't, I almost want to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I used to work for Apple, and so I really appreciate like the thought and design that goes into those products, and we mm -hmm. want to do that with this. So this does, just looks like a pen or a vape, and then you have it there, dab it on, okay. you're good to go. We wanted to have a product that guys could put in like their briefcase or their jacket, mm -hmm. or even leave on a desk, and yeah, people and, think it's a vape. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Where can people find you? Like, where can they discover more about you? Uh, if you search the Cavalier on almost anything, you'll find me, and then- uh, That's with a K. Cavalier with a K. Okay. Yeah. German for gentlemen, and then Strix, uh, S-T-R-Y-X, and then we'll make sure you have links down below for everything. Cool, if you guys have any other skincare mistakes or processes that you guys add into your routine that you feel we missed or that you could contribute, throw them down in the comments. I would love to read what you guys are doing to have healthy skin. I feel like men's skincare is a topic that's just being talked about more and more in this day and age, and it used to be neglected. So I'm, I'm really excited that it's a popular topic now. So yeah. let us know anything you have in the comments and we'll see you next time. All right, thanks guys. Thanks, peace.